Hello everyone, welcome to Mechanical Academy and I am here to solve gate mechanical problems. And this is a problem from gate 2021 set ME2. And this is regarding a mechanics of machining problem. In a pure orthogonal turning by a zero rake angle, so rake angle is zero, single point carbide cutting tool the shear force has been computed to 400 Newton. So two informations are given that is the orthogonal rake angle is 0 degree and shear force is 400 Newton. So orthogonal rake is 0 degree and shear force 400 Newton. Cutting velocity Vc is 100 meter per minute, depth of cut 2 mm, feed is 0.1 millimeter per revolution and chip velocity 20 meter per minute. So Vc is 100 meter per minute, depth of cut 2 mm, feed is 0 0.1 mm per revolution and Vf that is chip velocity is 20 meter per minute. So these are the given data. Now the shear strength tau s of the material has to be determined in terms of MPA. So, tau s is shear strength of material or specifically dynamic yield shear strength of the material because tau s changes with different parameters that is cutting speed, feed. So, this is not a constant value for a material rather this will be dynamic yield shear strength. So, what is the shear strength in machining process that tau s will be tau s is equal with p s by a s where a s is area of shear plane. If I draw a machining process, let me draw here. This is my tool. This is shear angle, this is A1 that is uncut chip thickness, A1 is uncut chip thickness and this is A2 that is chip thickness, this is B1 width of uncut chip and this is V2 that is width of chip. Vc is in this direction and this is Vf. So here I am giving the nomenclature of all terms. A1 is uncut chip thickness. Beta is shear angle. B1 is width of uncut chip whereas B2 is width of chip and A2 is chip thickness. So at shear plane or shear zone chip has been formed. The cutting velocity was Vc and chip after chip formation chip is moving along the rake surface with a velocity Vf that is chip velocity. So if we apply continuity equation here then what we can write? We can write A1 B1 into Vc is A2 V2 Vf. Now we know that machining in machining process B1 is equal with V2 that is machining is a plane strain condition. So if B1 is equal with B2 then 
b1 b2 cancelled out so a1 vc is equal to a2 vf now let us come here what is shear area that is as now let me define what is as this is as this area is as so this is b1 this distance is b1 so as is what a is is if this is o and this point is m o m b1 and o m is nothing but a1 by sin beta o m is a1 by sin beta o m this distance is o m which is a1 by sin of beta so a s is a1 b1 by sin beta so a1 is what now we know that a1 is s0 sin phi where phi is principal cutting edge angle phi is principal cutting edge angle so a1 is s0 sin phi and b1 that is uncut chip width is t by sin phi t is depth of cut t is depth of cut these two relationship i have explained in my previous lecture so a1 b1 is nothing but s0 into t so s0 t sin of beta now tau s is what p s is 400 a s is s0 t sin beta now we know value of s0 and t that is given in the problem t is 2 millimeter s0 is 0.1 mm per revolution only beta value is unknown so how to determine beta that is tan of beta we know cos gamma o zeta minus sin gamma what is zeta zeta is chip reduction coefficient so zeta is chip reduction coefficient and we know zeta is a2 by a1 so a2 is chip thickness a1 is uncut chip thickness so from this relationship that we have derived earlier a2 by a1 is vc by vf vc is 100 and vf is 20 so 100 by 20 that is 5 so zeta becomes 5 so a2 by a1 becomes 5 from this relationship so tan beta becomes how much tan of beta gamma o is 0 degree that is given in the problem so cos 0 degree 5 minus sin 0 degree. cos 0 is 1 sin 0 0 so 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 so beta is tan inverse 0 0.2 and from this we can calculate beta as 11.3 degree so beta becomes 11.3 degree shear angle this is the shear angle which is 11.3 degree so now this problem becomes very easier we have to put the values only so a s is value of a s is how much s0 is 0.1 into 2 divided by sine 11.3 degree so 0 0.2 sine 11.3 degree so if you calculate this this becomes 391.89 and what will be the unit a s is in millimeter square because this is in millimeter this is in millimeter and p s is in newton p s is in newton so this is newton per 
millimeter square which is nothing but MPA 89 MPA. So, our answer will be 391.89 391.89 MPA. So, this is the answer for this question. Now, let us solve another problem from grinding technology. Let us see what has been asked. This is also from gate 2021 set ME2. A surface grinding operation has been performed on a cast iron plate having dimensions 300 millimeter length, 10 millimeter width and 50 millimeter height. So, job dimensions are given. The grinding was performed using an alumina wheel. So, abrasive of the wheel is alumina. Having wheel, wheel diameter of 150 mm and wheel width 12 mm. So, wheel diameter DS is 150 mm and BS is 12 mm. The grinding velocity used that is VC is 40 meter per second. Grinding velocity is 40 meter per second. Table speed is 5 meter per minute that is VW is 5 meter per minute. Depth of cut per pass is 50 micron depth of cut per pass is 50 micron that is a equal to 50 micron and number of grinding passes is 20. The average tangential and average normal force for each pass is found to be 40 Newton and 60 Newton. So, tangential force Ft is 40 Newton and normal force is 60 Newton respectively. The value of the specific grinding energy under the aforesaid grinding operation is to be determined and in terms of joule per millimeter cube. So, before solving this problem, let me draw and schematic diagram of this grinding process. This is rotational speed of the grinding wheel. This is VW that is table speed which is given table speed is 5 meter per minute ok and tangential force that is FT. So, this is FT tangential force and this is FN and depth of cut that is a this much and if you if we draw the side view it will looks like this that is this is b s BS is 12 millimeter and width of the job that is BW, this is BW, width of the job length is 300 millimeter. So, this much is 300 and width of the job is 10 millimeter. So, BW is also given, BW is 10 mm and height of the job is 50 millimeter. So, this much is 50. 
Now our objective is to determine the specific grinding energy. So specific grinding energy UC is what grinding power by MRR material removal rate. Grinding power is tangential force into VC. VC is what? VC is tangential velocity of the wheel that is VC. This one is VC in this direction tangential velocity of the wheel at this point and MRR will be what? MRR will be BW VW into A. Here BS is greater than BW. BS is greater than BW. So, material removal rate will depend on width of the job only, not depends on width of the fill. So, this type of grinding process is called plunge surface grinding process where BS is greater than BW. So, material removal rate is BW width of the job, table speed into down feed or depth of cut. In grinding, this is called down feed. So, all values are known to us. Ft is 40 Newton, Vc is also 40 meter per second, but we have to take care of unit. You see, we have to find joule per millimeter cube. So, if we take Ft in Newton and Vc in meter per second, so Ft into Vc will become Newton meter per second, that is joule per second. And MRR we have to take, unit or MRR will be millimeter cube per second. Then second second will be cancelled out and we will get joule per millimeter cube. So, we have to take all these units in millimeter and VW will be in millimeter per second. So, BW value of BW is given here that is 10 millimeter that is width of the job. So, 10 but unit of VW look at here 5 meter per minute. So, this becomes 5000 millimeter by 60 this much millimeter per second and A is 50 into 10 to the power minus 3. A is 50 micron. So, micron to millimeter that will be multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. So, this 3 3 cancelled and this becomes so UC becomes 40 into 40 into 60 10 into 5 into 50 and this now we can 4 this is 12 so 16 into 12 by 5 and if we calculate this that becomes 38.4 joule per millimeter cube so the answer is 38.4 joule per millimeter cube. Thank you for watching this video and I request you to subscribe my channel to get new videos on mechanical engineering.